With the Z-Modeler brush selected, hover over an edge and press spacebar to open up the Z-Modeler Edge Action menu. Locate the Bevel Action. With the Bevel Action selected, you'll have a series of targets and then a series of modifiers down below. To start off, let's make sure we have the Edge Loop Complete target selected. And now let's come across our model and hover over an actual edge that forms a loop and then just click and drag. When clicking and dragging across this edge loop here, you'll see that it's going to perform a bevel effect across that entire area. Undoing that and then pressing spacebar to go back into the Z-Modeler Edge action menu, now let's come down here to these actual modifiers. Now these modifiers down here are going to determine how many rows of actual edges will be created when you actually perform the bevel. So we had it just set to single row. So if I change this to say eight rows and now come across that actual edge loop again and click and drag, you'll notice that I now have eight divisions that have been applied to that actual bevel. Now if I undo that quick and now hover over an edge again and go back into the actual menu. Now with those actual divisions, I can also determine how these divisions will be positioned on that actual bevel. And these are going to let you generate different type of edging across your model. So right now it was just set to linear edge, so all the divisions were spaced evenly across the surface. If I change this something to like soft edge, and now come across and apply that actual bevel, you'll notice that all those divisions are right in the middle. And what this is going to allow you to do is when you actually use the function of say the dynamic subdivision, it's going to generate a soft edge on your actual model. So just undo that quick. Now let's change this to sharp edge, and now come across the actual edge there and bevel that out. And you'll notice that the divisions now are bumped up to the border edges. So now if I come over and turn on the dynamic subdivision, I'm going to end up with a bevel like this that's a little bit harsher than that actual round edge. So let's undo that quick. And now let's go back into the edge menu again by holding spacebar. Now let's talk about these other target options here. So the edge loop complete is going to look at the complete loops on your model and then apply a bevel to those areas. If we switch to say edge loop partial, ZBrush is going to look at the actual edge until it comes to an irregular point, or a point that is not connected by four edges. So this point right here is only connected by one, two, three edges, so this is an irregular point. So if I come across and do a bevel edge loop right here with the partial selected and clicking and dragging, you'll notice that bevel is going to stop at those irregular points. Now if I come through and hover over a point and then select an option like bridge two points, and click this point and then click this point. This point now is no longer an irregular point, but now has four edges connected to it. So now if I apply this bevel to the partial edge loop here, you'll notice it's going to generate an effect like this. So just coming across your model and finding out where those irregular points are, or the points that are not connected by four edges, you can determine where that actual bevel will stop on your actual model. You also have the option to bevel by poly loop, and this will look at the actual edge, and depending on which edge you're closest to, will actually perform the actual loop in that direction. So using this bevel action, you can come across areas on your actual model and apply this bevel functionality to create more interesting designs on the surfaces of your models.